Good afternoon and welcome to season three on Chatbox with Sam. Today I have the honour of interviewing Michael Horse. Michael is an actor and writer. He has been in the industry for a long time. Good afternoon, Michael Horse. How are you? I'm fine. I actually, I got my union uh, um, statement the other day. It's been 45 years I've been in the union. I never wanted to be an actor. I got into it all by accident. I started as a like just taking care of horses on movies. And then I was a pretty bad rodeo rider. And one day somebody paid me to fall off my horse like I was shot. And I went, I fall off, I get paid. I can do that. Staying on has been the hard part. But, uh, <laughs> we changed the way that people process television and film, especially television. I mean, mm-hmm. We knew we were doing something special. Mm-hmm. But 25 years later, everything has Twin Peaks' DNA all over it. Yes. And people don't, people even acknowledge it. They go, oh, yeah, we're paying homage to, you know, and David is, is a, it's all about art with David. He's just, it's the, it's the sweetest, kindest man. He doesn't have dark things. And, right. Uh, uh, it's kind of like working with Jimmy Stewart with Salvador Dali's intestines. <laughs> he has an old micro, uh, megaphone kind of thing. And John Bellucci had gone off script. And he goes, Mr. Bellucci, do you need to go to the principal's office? <laughs> I'm an artist. I'm a traditional uh, mm-hmm. painter. I do a type of painting called ledger art, which is a traditional art, and a jeweler. And I've been doing that ever since I was maybe 14, 15 years old. And that's that's my passion. And my our website is gatheringtribes.com. And you can see my other, we have other native artists on there. And then right. there's a whole section of my paintings and my jewelry. There's not to not be intimidated by what they tell you you can't do. Right. I've been telling people, oh, you can't get into the movies. Or I do a lot of cartoon voices, which is my favorite thing, animation. People say, oh, you can't get it's all, it's, you can't get into that. And I went, I can't. So, you know, and, and, and then I, I started to ask, can I do this? Can I do that? And now I have a, a career making animation voices. But Please. I lived in Cornwall for a while. Did you? Please. That's yeah. my whole my whole kind of philosophy of life. I'm on this big, huge planet just whirling through this huge, huge universe of many universes. So it's kind of like, we and uh, don't be an asshole, you know. Right. <laughs> Vegans and Thunderheart. What happened in 1920, 1930, and 1940? Very interesting time for indigenous people, you know. I mean, it's starting to come out all the, the atrocities of when they put us into the boarding schools, you know, right. which was not that long ago. And, and uh, Scorsese's doing that, uh, that film, uh, uh, The Flower Moon, which is all about all these murders that happened in, in uh, um, 1920, 1930 on the reservations in Oklahoma. Oh, wow. So, I'm impressed by kindness and integrity. You know? You've hit the nail on the head with the integrity. Me too. Yeah. Integrity is very I was trying to explain important. to my kids about integrity. It was kind of hard to explain. And they got older, they get it now, you know. You right. know? Yeah. I had a place, I lived in Topanga Canyon, a place up near, uh, between Santa Monica and Malibu. And there were a lot of musicians that lived up there. And everybody would come over to the house and play. Neil Young would come up there and play. And, and, uh, um, Big Mama Thornton showed up one time and, you know, a lot of early 60 groups and just sit around and play f- just for the love of playing, you know. How awesome. It's very therapeutic. Like, my my kids went through my record collection one time and they had a strange look on their face. They go, what's the matter with you? And they go, do you have anybody that isn't dead? Oh, no. <laughs> Here's a Twin Peaks thing. <laughs> People will get that.